hi guys i'm back again today with another video and today we're checking out how to fly a modern hovercraft now i don't know what that is um okay we will find out so before we start don't forget to subscribe click the bell button let's figure it out Oh, so we're in weird. South Sea. We're so now going to go across to the weird. island. I said we we are, we are going to the Isle of Wight today. I said we would be. So we're going on the on the hovercraft. And I, I sent in advance an email to Stephen behind me there. He's, he's hiding. There he is. Who's the media guy for hover travel? And he's arranged for us to come behind the barriers and get some decent footage of the hovercraft coming up and everything. So uh, absolutely fantastic. But it's due to arrive, I think, shortly, Stephen, isn't it? Now about twenty past yeah. twelve should be here. It's going to be flying up the beach here, literally. So this is the only, what do you say Steve, the, the only, it's the only year round commercial passenger hovercraft service in the, in the world. world. And is where's that, the one which one? isn't the year round? Do you know, there's, it's not many anyway, is there? Yeah, there's, there's one in Canada that you, is, happens when, when the ice bridge melts, the Inuits, the local indigenous uh -huh. population, they, they, they can't get, they need boats to get across. So right. what they use is they, the, 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 the um, Canadian government have set up a hovercraft service, which is, I mean, it's two or three times a week, but it gives them a chance to get yeah, groceries yeah, yeah, and posts yeah. and the rest of it. Yeah. And then when it freezes again, yeah. the, the hovercraft's not used. Right. And that's, that's quite obviously quite important. Um, there, there are a few that are sort of much more unknown about around the, the, the river borders between Russia and China. Right. Again, but they're not scheduled in any way. Yeah. yeah. I think you're just lucky you turn up and you might yeah. be able to use one. So might this be, is yeah. the one that this gets is the... And we get people coming from around the world to see it. So yeah. Is what... this is this uh they made in the UK? Obviously it's a, yeah. UK, it's a British invention, isn't it? Yeah, but... but they were made in Southampton. Oh really? Right. And those ones I was talking to you about, they're actually being made even closer in Porchester. Oh yeah. really? Just, just oh, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, 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 I know what you mean. Yeah. So, so yeah, they're building those ones there. So yeah, it's, it's, it's great because it was invented in Britain, yeah. made and manufactured, designed in Britain, and now it's operated Operating. and maintained in Britain. So, Fantastic. Um, That's what we yeah. like. So, what do they run on then? Are they uh, diesel? Diesel, diesel yeah. yeah. Two, two turbo diesels. Two, yeah, okay. Um, man and, engines from Germany. And most of the power's in lifting it up, is it? Or, well, the split changes yeah okay because how they they they, they actually fly it that would be a yeah. pilot question but yeah basically once once you've got it lifted yeah and then the, the, the skirt the rubber bit the yeah. black bit is yeah. holding that air in yeah then we've got no friction yeah and it's very easy to move then what happens is the power the fans move it yeah the fans so the lift fans are doing yeah. their bit but yeah. that then gets reduced and then they're looking for thrust. They've got variable pitch mm -hmm. on the propeller. Oh, so, so they can they, choose where that choose where the air goes to. They've got rudders to steer it, and then they start moving along. Yeah. And the, quote, <laughs> the quotes from the pilots I get are that it's like driving a Land Rover on ice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Because yeah, yeah. The, the, the braking is increasing the friction. Right. So you, there is no brake. Is that, yeah. is it, so they reduce the hover, do they? Yeah, they reduce. They reduce the hover yeah. so it's not li not as, yeah. as slippery, if exactly you like. Exactly that. Yeah. So I've done an emergency stop in one I'm of them. I'm trying to mess with you. Yeah, it was almost dropped. Yeah. It? Yeah. it does literally, they take all the air it out. It sinks, yeah. yeah. They've got vents that allow it to escape even quicker. Yeah. They cut uh, the fans and then they open these vents yeah. and it literally goes boom. And stops, yeah. yeah. And stops. And I guess it's it, buoyant it, anyway. The whole thing floats without, yeah, it floats. It's like a boat. It's like an aluminium boat. Yeah. How many are there? Are there two? We have two, but there's just one. One in service at the moment. One in service at the moment, or an hourly. Yep. You can roughly see. Yeah. That it's, it's going to aim up. That's the centre line here. Is that right? Okay. Yeah. It's going to be. You can roughly see where the, the, the wettest patch of it's going to come. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to sit here. It's quite loud. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Um, as loud as they used to be, but it is still quite loud. 05 yeah. rules, is it? Yeah, yeah, the, <laughs> Does the pilot know that the pilot, the helmsman, pilot. is he a pilot? Does he know we're going to be here he at all? Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, so it won't come as a surprise. Yeah, so, no, it, won't, it won't come as a surprise, and he'll be happy with that. Mm. Um, what you're going to find is it's, it's, it's not quite high tide, you're going to get a lot of spray at the, at, yep. at the bit then, yeah. and you're also going to get stones. Both of those are obviously not particularly conducive to keep camera, lenses. To camera lenses and your eyes. Yeah, no, no of so, course. Again, situational awareness. If a stone's coming yeah. towards you, <laughs> even if you get close your eyes, shot, yeah. Out the way, yeah, yeah. Um, and you will get a bit of spray as it yeah, of course, it's yeah. towards you. So just, yeah. just watch out for that bit. If it all goes wrong, I plan to sue <laughs> Lamb Chops Rides. <laughs> 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 In COVID, 
we adapted, the, you'll see the, the freight bit, we adapted it to be able to take stretcher patients from the island. Oh, right, okay. We actually run a blue light service for the NHS. So okay. The ambulance to us. Yeah. We get on the craft, there's nobody else on that craft. Hey. Stretcher patients wow. wheeled on. They fly across in 10 minutes. Ambulance. It must be the quickest way across the yeah. by far, isn't it? We, we beat the air ambulance. They really? Can, they, we can go quicker than the yeah, air Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's incredible. So from hospital to hospital. Right. Here it comes, though. Look at this. Here it comes. Big old Union Jack on the front. Love yeah. it. Massive holiday. Back already. It's huge. Look at that. Here it comes. Bird's eye view. It is fast. the power and it sinks. There you go guys, I promise you a hovercraft. <laughs> There's a hovercraft. Amazing, it's sinking down. Yeah, so now the air's coming out. Yeah. And what it'll do is it'll run the engines for a little while because we like to keep them as warm as possible. Yeah. And yeah. Just keep them rolling. Yeah. <laughs> and then he's gonna, the doors are clamshell. You'll hear a little light high noise. Yeah. They'll, they'll, they'll so the passengers them. come out the front then, do they? Yeah, come okay. Out the front. Yeah. yeah. Okay. If you've been before, you'd have come out the side. The side. That's right. Yeah. That's right, yeah. Out the front. Yeah. Which actually goes back to when they were originally done. You used to climb in through the front. That's right. The very first one. Yeah, yeah. Would have been that same. It was. I went on those yeah, real yeah, classic the ones. Hatch, the, hatch the, yeah, the hatch in the front. Yeah, the hatch in the front. That's what I went in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the little hatch. Yeah. And then it was at the side near the rear. I think was it. Yeah. 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 And yeah. then that's the latest one. So the old ones used to have like little chimneys that used to on the front. Right. So they, what, what's replaced that then? So those are called bow thrusters. Yeah. We actually had bow thrusters on the original design of this version. Right. And the pilots found that they didn't need them. Oh, so they just removed yeah, them? Yeah, they used to be for manoeuvrability. So obviously okay. you've got the, you've got the yeah, yeah. rudders and the things yep. at the back. They yep. did that, but they wanted extra bit of them. For and they don't need them. They don't need them, they're too skilled. Very good. Yeah. How did you become a hovercraft pilot then? I'd imagine that's... Yeah, that's uh... to be a master of a watch. So you have to have been responsible for a vessel out at sea for watches. Yeah. And then you come and train with us for three months. Oh. But there are very few. We only got... We've got about... eight. Yeah. yeah. We always say, and they love this, the pilots, to be fair. But there are more Top Gun pilots than there are hovercraft pilots. <laughs> yeah. the, the, elite. Elite. the elite. The elite of the best. Best of the best. Yeah. 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 Best yeah. Of the best. Yeah. Yeah. As they pull away, I'm going ballistic. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> Does he give it you know, I feel the need, the need <laughs> for speed. <laughs> well, we're, we're, we're limited in our speed by the King's um, Harbour Master and yeah. the Coast Guard. Cool. But these will go. I mean, this is 45 knots easily. It's fast, it? isn't it? Really? And it will go quicker. What's well, seven miles an hour then? Because they're not smaller than miles an hour. Over, over, isn't 50. It? Yeah, over 50. Over 50. Yeah, over 50. That's incredible, isn't it? It's amazing how easy access, isn't it? Yeah. On this new one. Yeah, there's no climbing the steps. No. Uh, fantastic, isn't it? Here we go. Hovercraft. Oh, yeah. Good, yeah. good to meet you. Oh, yeah. How are you doing? Oh, it's yeah, big, isn't it? Too cold, yeah. Spacious, no, isn't it? Good. Yeah, on the back here. Yeah. Fantastic, yeah. Superb. God, it's nice to be inside in the warm, isn't it? <laughs> Hello. It's like being on a plane. We're off. Jolly day out, isn't this it? This is brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. This is better than the car ferry. It's smooth, isn't it? So smooth. Because it's on a cushion of air, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, cushion of air flying. Flying along. The uh, stewardess is just going round, John. Do you want vodka and money? Just doing his cider. <laughs> ten minutes to the Isle of Wight. For ten minutes, you lived on the Isle of Wight and you want to go shopping, you literally could go yeah. over to Gun Wharf Keys. It's quicker than driving from where I live. Yeah. To be honest, nice. it's amazing. And I think if you um, if you live on the island, the amount you pay is cheaper than yeah, you, yeah. No, you get a discount. You get a much yeah, discounted yeah. rate, isn't it? So.
if you're in a small dinghy or a small sailboat, this just goes straight over you, just crushes you. <laughs> That's the turn, just goes straight through everything. Yeah. <laughs> I could have, could have got the bikes in there, I reckon. There was room for the bikes in the middle there, wasn't there? And there's a ramp, wasn't it? There's a ramp, could have driven them, <laughs> creeped them straight on. <laughs> There we go, up the beach. There's the other one. They've got two two uh, hovercrafts. Only one's in service in the winter. If they need to put another one on, they can, but that's the other one. Right? And we're there, 10 minutes to the Isle of Wight. It's so fast, isn't it? And then we sing down there. There we go. Welcome. You got your passport ready? <laughs> An app. Don't forget to set your watches. An hour ahead. <laughs> Oh yeah. All right, yeah. The pilot's just said if you if you wanted to go up to the cockpit to do any oh, filming yeah, up there, yeah, oh, yeah, other people amazing. have gone off. You'll stay up there. Oh, we'll, oh, we'll do that then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah that'd be well, amazing. Done. Thank you very much. That'd be amazing. Going up to the cockpit. That's not easy. To, it's not easy <laughs> to get up, is it? Yeah, blank checks always are good. But I won't be able to fit up here. Yes, you will. Got a pilot that's bigger than you. I can't get up. Can't get my knees up. Oh, God, you can do it. Find your head. Yeah, I'll wait down here. The pilot's going to come up, give us a quick run through. So this is a standard marine radar. Yeah. Turn that on. So you can see you can see right pier head there. There's a man on the end of the pier. Yeah. Um, so you've got your instruments, which are. Um, a visual display rather than being. That's left and right engine, is it? I yeah. guess the, the two. Yeah. Um, MAN, which I believe was owned by Volkswagen. Mm. They are 1100 horsepower each, V12 wow. twin turbo. I'll show you those in a minute. Yeah. So that's the left hand engine. Uh, most important things on there really are the water temperature, oil pressure. That's the same for both. I can go into more depth to look at different things if I'm yeah. having a problem. Um, and then we go full cycle back to there. When I turn the ignition off, they'll they will die the death. Then we've got DGPS, um, which shows you where you are, your track, position, time. Which is supplied by um, four atomic clocks in outer space. Oh, it really? Not. So, so, proper atomic so nobody can argue with me. That's the, the time. time that is the actual time. <laughs> the same see, thing. Yeah. <laughs> Marine compass. Yeah. Steer by. No cursor on it, but there is a heading mark there. Yeah. One panel here for. The radar, or panel here for the EPTIS. The so what's that one? Sorry, electronic the... chart display. Okay. Which is here. They've got the Isle of Wight here. Yeah. Uh, you've got Gill Kicker, Portsmouth Harbour. So is that all the way to Heading Island? And this tells you where we are. And that's like. And that tells GPS. you where I've been. Okay. A bit like a black box. These are my four ballast tanks. Yeah. So I can adjust the craft anywhere okay, I choose. Okay, well, pulling water on there, water yep. on Oh, wow. No, okay. there's water already in there. There's water, right, and that pumps it around the craft to... I do with this. Ah, oh, okay. Wherever I put that is where yeah. the water is going. Oh, wow. So if everybody gets on on a sunny day and they want to look out that side, they'll all oh. wander over there, sit down and look out that side. But I can tell um, from the cameras downstairs, which are behind you, where they're sitting. Nice. The commuters like to sit in the front seats so that they're first on, first on in their first, seat, first, first off. off. Yeah. Whereas day trippers will tend to go for the windows and people who aren't interested just sit in the back. Yeah, yeah. But I can see where they are before I leave. That's very important. Because if you lift up and you're trimmed very heavily by the stern, then the craft will mm -hmm. just drag. Go that way. Oh, I see. It, so has, it has to be on an even keel. So you have some, before you set off, you check everyone's seated and adjust the ballast accordingly. Yeah, and then and as soon as I lift up, I'm adjusting again, adjusting again. Oh, a little wow. bit. Um, so we're, we're, we're continuously moving ballast around. If we're in, into a heavy sea, I might lift the bow slightly more than I normally would to make sure that she yeah, doesn't start. Digging in, or yeah. digging in, diving, yeah. uh, ploughing, they call it, the most severe situation. But better to be trimmed. Um, standards about a degree, half a degree by the stern. Right. Over here I've got my pumps, hydraulic pumps for the steering gear. Same as an aircraft. We steer with these pedals. Uh, okay, so that, that's the, the rudder, is it, if you like? The... Opposite to a bicycle. Okay. 
If you want to turn right, you push right. Right. If you do that on a bicycle, you go yeah, left. Yeah, yeah, so okay. And they're driving the eight rudders that you see there moving. Oh, up. I see oh, the actual now. rudder behind the propellers. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, oh, I'll see that drives those. Eight of them for each. Wow. System failures. I've got effectively eight different types. Yeah. Because I've got two sets of rudders. I've got a, a tiller that I can steer by, or I can use pedals. So that makes it four, and then I've got a secondary system for both that makes it eight. Right. So there are eight possibilities of maintaining steering, which is right. yeah, yeah. A, a very necessary backup. Here I've got the pitch levers, so that will alter the pitch of the blades. Ah, the pitch of the blades, right. So I can, that's zero, that's null. This is a stern and increasing. Sort of like, like a that's helicopter, it. if you like, a helicopter sort of pitch adjustment, is it? Or? Yeah, a lot of power boats have got very Oh, have they? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, or well, I guess those because really high power. You don't have to go into neutral uh, and then go into a stern. Yeah, yeah. I can be on full power and go from full head to full stern. Right. So these are obviously the throttles. Port engine, starboard engine. So that's zero. That, that's a cruise. This is that's, that's a max. Oh, wow, that's, I didn't realize you had adjustable pitch on the blades. That's really interesting. I guess you can try an asymmetric, yeah, you, know, you can yeah. have one going ahead and one going astern, so the craft will turn in its own length. I suppose that's the only way to do it, isn't it? With the... a big drift. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Well, with bow thrusters, you could reverse them um, and then just power against yeah. them to turn it round almost to its own length. But Stephen was saying you don't actually need bow thrusters on these new ones, they, they, you can steer them so well with the. Yeah. 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 Bow thrusters are useful for banking into a turn. Yeah. You know, you initiate the turn oh, I see. with, you can with get bow a bit thrusters. Of, right, I see. Satellite compass, emergency compass. Yeah. Uh, this is any information that's going on. Uh, when the alarms come up, they'll show me what alarms have been on. I cancel it with that one. Yeah. You can see that's been quite well worn. <laughs> the cancel fan. Here we've got really other information that we don't necessarily yeah. use on the craft. Um, it's, it's direction, it's wind speed, yeah. um, engine start keys, the two computerised monitors for the engines, uh, two separate fire panels with three zones on here and service bay wheelhouse main cabin on this one. Yeah. So, so when you're, so when you're in, in motion going along, are you constantly correcting ballast? Are you constantly yes. adjusting the pitch on the blades? Yes, and, and so, steering. So it's almost like it's really like a helicopter where you're constantly giving input to keep yeah. it headed in the right direction. Um, to be able to steer with your feet means both hands are free. Yeah. And they need to be because there's so much you're constantly going on. Wow. Ballasting and trimming and yeah. adjusting on these panels, nav instruments. These are these are wander away, so oh, at night right. you'd have both of those on your knees. So what are they used for then? This is marine radar. Okay. It's detecting objects in the dark. Yeah. And this is where we are, where we're going. That's like the route plan. Like the route plan. That, that's the route yeah. plan that we follow. Right. So we put we put put in a route before we leave, a chosen route, and yeah. that would show you as motorway lines on there. Oh, okay. And if you if you come off it, it will alarm. So you've got you sticking on that. And it will tell route. you how to rectify it. Yeah. It'll give you a cross track error and bring it back on. Oh, wow. And it's very useful in fog for landing because you've got you, sometimes you just can't see anything yeah, at yeah. all. Mm. But there you've got. Ooh. Um, your runway grids, so you know you're on almost. the centre line, yeah. and the navigator will slow you down saying we've got two cables to run or 100 metres, you need to bring the speed down to 15 yeah, knots. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's incredible. That is, I didn't realise there was so much to it. That's, that's amazing. I didn't know anything about the ballast, I didn't know anything about having adjustable pitch on the blade. It's and our two, two fuel tanks, 900 metres on each side. So the fuel tank can each, you can, can move, move the fuel it. as well as yeah, ballast sort of thing. Yeah. So. Wow, okay. Well, that's amazing. I really appreciate that. That's incredible. Thank you very much indeed. So, it's probably, we could be up here all day. Yeah, no, no. All right, well, thanks very much indeed for that. It's okay. That was cool. I was like wondering what are we about to like witness. But these are great transportation. <coughs> and they seemed really, really fast. Excuse me. Um. And yeah, like what he said, I didn't think it was so complex i thought it was just a button it just goes from one end to another another or like a steering wheel or like a something right something but i didn't think it was like so complex it's like a ship and a plane 
had a baby and it became the hovercraft right um uh, yeah oh uh, that's really fascinating and we need i don't know um what other countries uses that that but i'm glad this is a thing very useful well thank you guys for joining and i will see you tomorrow bye